Yes, I tried, dear. I tried. But uh, I don't seem to be able to have the same old zing as usual. Well, I'll <laughs> tell you what you do. Now, you go upstairs and take a hot bath and get a good night's sleep. Oh, yes. No, no, no. I think I'll polish my doorknob collection. <laughs> so consoling, dear. Yes, so yes, consoling. Of course. <laughs> maybe, maybe, dear. Maybe. I'll take some clothes to Darren. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> and I did it a lot better than you did, buddy. <laughs> now, please. Darren, I'm so terribly sorry about all this. You want me to spring you? No. I'm in enough trouble with the law already. What's going to happen when you have to face the judge? Somehow I have a feeling things are going to be all right. So don't worry, honey. Hey, just a minute, buddy. I dreamed her up. I'll thank you to stop kissing her. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. See you in court. <laughs> So before I could write out a ticket for parking in front of a hydrant, somehow he shucked off his clothes, which is another violation. Then he ducked behind a car. So in pursuant to my duty, I pursued him around the car and apprehended him on the third time around. Then I locked him up, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Stevens, uh, what do you have to say? Your Honor, I don't like to contradict an officer of the law who is pursuing his duty, but... <laughs> How could I have been taken from my cell fully clothed this morning if I was in my shorts when I was locked up? Was he locked up all night? W well, yes, sir. But he had his clothes on this morning when he was taken out. Doesn't that seem a little uh, strange to you? Well, now that you mention it, yeah, Your Honor. <laughs> but he was in his underwear when he was locked up. I've got a witness. Uh, who's your witness? Montague, come on up here. <laughs> Morning, Judge Corsetti. Uh, how's the wife and kids? <laughs> Montague was in a cell with him all night, Your Honor. Is that true, Mr. Stevens? Uh, yes, Your Honor. It's all right, Montague. Go ahead. Uh, tell the judge everything. Don't hold anything back. <laughs> all right. How was the defendant clothed? Judge, you should have been in that cell. <laughs> Never mind the uh, wishful thinking. How was the defendant clothed? Well, first, he had on these fancy tights and a big sword like Richard Burton. He cut quite a figure. And then, then he had on a, a suit of armor like a knight, only he didn't bring his horse. Uh, his horse? <laughs> And he clanked around for a while. <laughs> All right, Montague, I think I've got the picture. Uh, just tell me one thing more. Where did he get the clothes that he's got on now? A beautiful girl appeared in the cell with some clothes on a hanger. <laughs> he just gave them to him. <laughs> This is your only witness? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I see. You're dismissed, Mr. Stevens. Thank you, Your Honor. And you too, Montague. Thank you, Judge. Uh, be seeing you. Officer, I'd like to speak to you a minute. Judge! That's her! That's the girl! Out! Judge! Out! Out! <laughs> 